The Thirteenth Lesson Jimmy the Carrot The Little Window Now the family is sitting at the table. Father is reading his morning newspaper. From time to time he stirs his coffee with a teaspoon and tastes it. Suddenly Polly begins to giggle. Why are you giggling? Mr. Dale asks angrily. Oh, Daddy, you're stirring your coffee and there is no sugar in your cup, Polly says. Is that so funny? Mr. Dale asks. Please pass me the sugar, Molly, he says to his wife. He takes one lump out of the sugar basin and puts it into his cup. That is not enough, Daddy. Take some more sugar. I always take three or four lumps of sugar, Polly says. I like it when the coffee tastes bitter, her father says, taking his newspaper again. They have breakfast in silence. Mrs. Dale is angry with Jimmy. Mr. Dale is angry with his lazy son too. So all of them eat and drink in silence. After breakfast, Polly clears the table and then they leave the room. Now Jimmy is all alone. The room is empty. His sister Polly is at school. His father is at his work. Mother is not in the room. Jimmy does not want to get up. He is very lazy. He looks at the ceiling. A big fly is sitting there. How can the fly sit on the ceiling? Jimmy thinks. Then he looks at the wall. A little window is hanging on it. Jimmy's father always looks into it when he shaves his chin. Mother always looks into it when she brushes her hair. Polly also looks into it when she puts on her bonnet. But Jimmy the carrot never looks into the little window. It hangs too high for him. Jimmy thinks to himself, I must look into that little window too. So he gets up, puts on his trousers and runs to the wall. But he cannot reach the little window. He is not tall enough. So he takes a chair, pulls it up to the wall and gets on it. Oh, how funny! A little boy looks back at Jimmy from the little window. The boy has red hair, red cheeks, red ears and a funny red nose as small as a button. Jimmy looks straight into the boy's eyes. He smiles at him. The red-headed boy smiles too. To be continued.